Biden administration launched a task force to investigate whether China hacked Microsoft Exchange. Microsoft said, its exchange product had been hacked by a state-backed Chinese entity. At least 30,000 businesses and government bodies were affected by the hack, which began in January. The Biden administration is setting up a task force to probe the attack. President Joe Biden's administration is launching a task force to investigate the recent hack of a popular Microsoft product, allegedly backed by Beijing. Microsoft said that its exchange email server had been hacked by the Hafnium Group with the support of the Chinese state. The breach began in early January and was discovered by the cybersecurity firm Velexity. One Wenbin a Chinese foreign ministry spokesman said there was insufficient evidence to prove Chinese state involvement. The number of organizations affected by the hack, which included government agencies and businesses, numbered at least 30,000, according to cybersecurity reporter Brain Krebs. A former U.S. national security official told Wired, the hack was absolutely massive, we're talking thousands of servers compromised per hour, globally. As a result of the hack, a U.S. official said that a new multi-agency integrated coordination group task force would include both the FBI and the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency agents, CISA. We're now working with our partners and looking closely at the next steps we need to take. This is an active threat still developing and we urge networked operators to take it very seriously, the official said. Microsoft said, Hafnium were a highly skilled and sophisticated actor and, in a statement, laid out how the attack unfolded. First, it would gain access to an exchange server either with stolen passwords or by using the previously undiscovered vulnerabilities to disguise itself as someone who should have access. Second, it would create what's called a web shell to control the compromised server remotely. Third, it would use that remote access, run from the US-based private servers, to steal data from an organization's network, Microsoft said. The company has since released a security update that rectified issues across versions of Exchange from 2013 to 2019 and recommended that users install updates immediately. The company has since released a security update that rectified issues across versions of Exchange from 2013 to 2019 and recommended that users install updates immediately. Jen Psaki, the White House press secretary, told that the exchange servers had significant weaknesses. The White House still regards the situation as an active threat. Jeff Jones, a senior director at Microsoft, told the New York Times, we are working closely with the CISA, other government agencies, and security companies to ensure we are providing the best possible guidance and mitigation for our customers.